Hi, today I will present you how to record, build a model and deploy live using Black Industry Camera from Hype. In the latest release of Perclass Mira 4.0, a new live acquisition for this camera is available. Once we open this project type, the camera is in the source list. First, make sure that your Ethernet connection is set manually with the correct settings of the camera. In Acquisition panel, you can control the exposure time and the frame rate. As the first band is displayed, we want to change to the fifth one to get more signal. First of all, we check that the camera is correctly focused. One of the main objectives is to make sure that we are not saturating. That's the reason why we placed a white reference. This white reference is also used to perform reflectance correction. In this use case, we are correcting by a line, which means by the full frame. Point correction is defining a region of interest within the scan to get the mean spectrum. Once we blocked the aperture of the camera with the block lens, the dark frame can be recorded. Note that as the acquisition is stopped, we do not see the dark frame on the display, but Perclass Mira recorded it. After recording scans for reflectance correction, we can record spectral data. In this use case, we want to separate nuts from shells. The scan recorded is added to the project. The device must be closed for building a classifier. We notice on both sides of the scan that some pixels are badly corrected as the signal was low. In this part, we want to build a classifier. In the preview mode, red, green and blue bands can be adjusted to create a false RGB preview of the scan. We define the background class, then label few pixels and do the same for almonds and shells. Mean spectrum and standard deviation per class are plotted in the right panel. Once we search a model for classifying all classes, decision per pixel or display. We still need to improve slightly the classifier as the shadows are defined as shells. We also improve the HS classification by adding more labels on the border of objects. The main objective is to detect shells. That is the reason why we set it as a foreground class. Objects are now segmented out by connected components defined as foreground. We increase the minimum size per object to get rid of isolated pixels. Once we build our classifier, including our object of interest, we can run the model live. To do so, we initialize the camera again. As we recorded references previously, we can now apply the reflectance correction. Then, we apply the classifier to display the decision per pixel. The misclassification in red is due to the age of the sample's holder. Finally, we segment out the shells. As it is a line scan camera, they will be identified by a cross on the decisions per pixel display. The total speed, including the camera and the classifier speed, is now around 70 frames per second. However, we can increase the camera speed to 250 frames per second to run the classifier faster. Now, the total speed is around 180 frames per second, including segmentation of shells.
Thank you for watching.